In this video, we provide the solution to question number nine for the practice final exam for Math 1210. We're asked to find the derivative of the function f of x equals the square root of x times e to the x. We want to calculate the derivative, and I see we have a product of two functions, the square root of x times e to the x. So the derivative will be calculated using the product rule. So we have to take the derivative of the square root of x times e to the x, and then we're going to take the square root of x times the derivative of e to the x. Uh, the derivative of the square root of x um, that's one that you might just have memorized. You've done it so often that the square root, the derivative of the square root of x is going to be 1 over 2 times the square root of x. Then you get e to the x. Um, if you're not sure where that came from, just remember that the square root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half power. So if we calculate the derivatives of these things using the power rule, we're going to get 1 half times x to the negative 1 half power. Negative exponents mean it goes in the denominator. And 1 half exponents means you have the square root. So that's where the 1 over 2 times the square root of x is coming from. Uh, so continuing on, uh, we get 1 over 2 times the square root of x times e to the x. That's in the numerator, e to the x. And then we're going to get the square root of x times the derivative e to the x, which that is itself e to the x. And so now let's look for the result that resembles what we have right here. Uh, you don't see exactly what I have in front of us, but it looks like a lot of the answers have e to the x factored out. We could try doing that. If you factor out e to the x, you're going to end up with 1 over 2 times the square root of x plus the square root of x, like so. Um, for which then, that really looks like choice A. If we factor out the square root of x from the denominator, notice if you do that, if you factor out the one, excuse me, if you factor out the square root of x from the denominator, you're going to be left behind with a one half plus, in this case, an x, which of course, if you divide it by the square root of x, that's the same thing as having e to the x times x to the negative one half power times one half plus x. So sometimes when we calculate our derivative, we might have done a little bit differently than what could have been expected on a question. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There are completely valid methods. So we have to be able to check which, in, in, for a multiple choice question that is, which of these results is equivalent to the one we computed, in which case we see that choice A is equivalent to the derivative of this function.